Hey there, Jamie Smith, CF Pro Tools. Just want to do a quick demonstration. I had a question earlier on the on the Facebook group um, about being able to take parameters from the URL and insert them into the content of the page. Um, you know, you, you might call them keywords or, or search terms or whatever from your URL and insert them uh, into your page. These would be things like uh, when somebody submits a um, a registration page and opt-in, uh, the thank you page URL will actually have their email address on it. It'll be question mark email equals uh, jamie at cfprotools.com or something like that. And so uh, someone wanted the ability to be able to grab that email address from the URL and insert it in the content of the page. So I threw a quick script together. It's inside the CF Pro Tools uh, free membership area. So uh, there's no charge for this one. It's free. Again, I love to provide back the value to the community. It's been a huge benefit to me. And this is just my way of giving back. And so uh, what I did is I um, put that into the, the members area and I just want to show you how this works real quick. And so I'm inside of an actual ClickFunnels page. I've got a landing page in here. And so I've got uh, I've got just a, in mind a few things that I want to be able to replace on the page. One of them being the email address. If the email address comes in on the URL, I want to be able to throw that into the page. Um, also, uh, just a random keyword. I want, I, I'm going to send some traffic to my page and I want to throw a keyword in there into the URL and have my page content change based on that. And then also I might be sending some affiliate traffic, but I kind of like uh, when somebody lands on the page, I'd like them to know that an affiliate actually sent the traffic. And so here's how we can do those things. So basically I've got a headline element here and I just want this to say your email question mark. And then all I have to do is put in this double curly braces, email, double curly braces. Um, and then the next one was the keyword. I want to be able to replace the keyword. And so I've just got a headline here that just says, thanks for visiting the your keyword page. Uh, and uh, so if the um, this one is going to be if email exists on the URL, then put it in there. This one is going to be if the URL parameter, your keyword exists on the URL, then throw this in here. And then um, the next one is the affiliate ID. And I just put a little footer down here that says the affiliate ID was, and then the, the term again, affiliate underscore ID. Uh, this one is actually in a text block. These two are in headline elements. This one is in a text block. So I want to save this page and I'm just going to do a fresh preview here. And we'll see a couple things happening. One is it says your email and there's nothing here. Um, that's because I've got a default value set for your email to be blank. So if the email doesn't come in on the URL, then it's just going to insert a blank value wherever my double curly braces email was at. Uh, the next one is thanks for the visiting your keyword page. This one I've actually got a default value set for that term to your keyword, the words your keyword. Um, and so uh, basically it's going to, if it doesn't find the term your keyword on the URL, it's going to replace it with a default value. That way, if you've got a piece of content that may come in on the URL and you want to use that if it does or it may not, and you want to have a default, then that works as well. And then the same for the affiliate ID. I've got the affiliate ID was not provided. And so the not provided is actually the default value for affiliate ID. So in this case, again, we might be driving traffic through affiliates and uh, we might not. So if we're not, we want to be able to say the affiliate ID was not provided. And that way people know there was no affiliate. Um, but if there was, then I want to be able to insert that value. So let's show how that would work. Uh, let's go ahead and add these URL parameters to this preview and show what it looks like. So in this case, we've already got a parameter for Cash Buster. This is what you get added anytime you do a preview from ClickFunnels. So we've already got the question mark Cash Buster equals. So what we do is we add ampersand email equals Jamie at cfprotools.com. And I'm just going to hit enter to load this page. And now we see your email, jamie at cfprotools.com. We get that thrown in there. We still get the your keyword. We still get the affiliate ID was not provided. So let's go ahead and replace those with some actual values and see uh, what we get. And so we can say, and your keyword equals cfprotools and enter that one. And now we'll notice we get email address and thanks for visiting the CF Pro Tools page. Please come back. Um, and the next one, let's do the affiliate ID. Uh, and we'll do ampersand affiliate ID equals one, two, three, four, five, and hit enter. So here you go. 
email's been replaced, the, con the your keyword has been replaced, and the affiliate ID has been replaced with its actual value. Uh, these things are all configurable inside the script. So when you grab that, you'll be able to add your own keywords. It could be, maybe you don't want to use email. Maybe you don't want to use your keyword. Maybe you don't want to use affiliate ID. You can use whatever you want. It could be name. It could be first name. It could be uh, Jim is great. Uh, whatever you want those keywords to be that are on the URL, um, you can change those out. And then all you have to do, let's say that's the case. Let's say we want to do first name. So what we would do is if we know that, hey, first name, or if we, we know that, hey, all this stuff is gonna exist, but we're going to insert first name equals Jamie. Right now, this isn't gonna do anything different than what we already saw, but we get that first name there. So if we want to insert the first name, then, then we would go in and say your first name, and then just put first name in here, and then save, and then that will replace that with that first name variable. What we do is we actually set that variable inside of the script. And so I've got instruction videos in the members area exactly how to configure it, but you can really insert anything that you want to um, into this page that you know is gonna be on the URL. So you can go in and do that. I hope this has been cool and just shows you again, kind of what you can do with your ClickFunnels pages with just a little bit of custom coding. It's, I mean, it's really not a ton of code and it's pretty flexible and I tried to make it uh, work pretty well for you guys. So I hope you come up with some good uses for it and uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon.